Hey, Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at the NRA Show 2016. I've got Mike, we're going to talk about Steyr and their AUG. If you wonder why I was smiling, this is it. You know if you watch the channel at all, if you follow Gear Report, I have a bit of a fixation with both pups. We found another one. And uh, this is a classic. Uh, Steyr AUG. Let me point out a couple key features and then I'm going to hand it off to the expert and Mike's going to tell us more about it. Obviously we got our charging handle here. Uh, the bolt locks back automatically. We have a bolt release here that uh, is going to let that go forward. Really cool feature. A little thumb button and uh, what do we do? We twist it. Bolt has to be back. Okay. See I'm learning as we go here. Bolt comes out. Easy to uh, Put it back in. We got a safety switch right here. Proprietary magazines. They kind of look like uh, an AR mag, but they're not. They have a different catch and, and some different design features. So that's kind of the quick overview of this really cool bullpup. Um, I, I like this a lot, but um, you know, let's hand it off to Mike and get some more details on it. All right, I think you did a great job so far. Um, basically, like you said, the barrel can come off. I'll just show you the, the disassembly process. Okay, sounds good. Um, basically, you've got a 16 and a half inch barrel. The, uh, the, the not exactly the original style AUG tulip, but that's their our current production tool. Right. Um, you've got a, basically a gas, a short stroke gas piston. Your gas piston is contained in here. All your gas and all your dirt and everything else, carbon, comes out basically this hole. It can be adjusted. So if you run into some lower power uh, ammunition, right. the gun does get a little bit dirty after you know three, four thousand rounds. You want to go ahead and uh, possibly push it over to that position. Got I've got a gun with twenty-five thousand rounds through it. I've never had it in that position, um, and I've only cleaned it about a dozen times in that wow. amount of time too. So, All right. um, so basically, that's a cold hammer forged barrel, um, and that's actually made for us here in the United States. Nice. Um, moving on to take the magazine out. Again, the magazine, a lot of folks are intimidated by the magazine changes. Um, you can take another magazine and drop it, or you can just basically, you know, just find the magazine or just take the thumb um, right. and retain That's very simple. So, to take this guy apart, you uh, push in the, uh, the release button here, which is a little tight. Here's your receiver, uh, and you can see there's your uh, bolt, bolt carrier. Basically, this guy has, um, you've got an op rod and then you've got a guide rod. So basically, this thing, and then it, they're stainless, and you've got a, a slightly different uh, degree of stainless in the inserts in this uh, aluminum receiver. So basically, it glides on tracks. Again, whenever you're, whenever it's clean, uh, whenever it gets dirty, most of your dirt's going to come right straight down here. So basically, a paper towel, wipe this thing down, and you're pretty much back in Put a little bit of lube, uh, and you're back in action. If you've got a left-handed friend, or you know, left-handed, I happen to know someone left-handed. There you go. Oh, yeah. So all you're going to have to do is you just need the extra bolt, which I keep in the bolt in the back of the bolt, uh, the, the button pad um, of the AUG. But basically, if you want to change that, um, you basically just take the firing pin out. And this, this is also one of the uh, the cool features of the AUG, and I'm using the wrong hand here, but one of the cool. These are cut firing pins, so sometimes they get a little bit finicky. Ah, there it is. Um, so basically, uh, whenever you want to take the bolt out, so you take this bolt out, yeah. and you switch yeah. it over for your left hand the bolt, and then yeah. there's a couple other things that I'll show you in a second. Um, but the cool thing is, the heat that builds up in this rifle is so little, because all your gas and the dirt and everything's going yeah. out up front, you've got a barrel up front, um, that this actually, this retaining piece, the firing pin retaining piece, is actually home. So, and you can do magazine dumps. These are, you know, this was actually developed for the full auto guns that are actually used yeah. by 21 different militaries around the world. Um, so this actually, this part is actually, you know, you can shoot this gun mag dumps after mag dumps after mag dumps, pull this out and hold it in your hand. It'll be warm, but it won't be hot. So basically, and then reassembly is basically in the same reverse order. And let's hope with a fire, cut firing pin we can get this thing back in place. There we go. So, put your leaves back down here. Really as far as the butt, that's where your trigger kit actually is. 
again, reusing all your all the polymers. Again, same thing that they use in the uh, pull auto triggers. These are this is specifically designed for semi-auto. You can't even fit the semi-auto pack into the semi-auto or the full auto pack into the semi-auto receiver. That's all done for the US uh, for the US rules. So basically all these parts, that's something else. And again, twenty five thousand rounds is where mine actually started getting very, very smooth and very, very nice. Because all those parts really, really mesh in together after time. So and then again that's where I usually keep my uh, my spare left handed bolt. Right. Um, if you do need to make the change from left handed to right hand, the only other change you have to make is actually taking the uh, uh, the little warning plate, huh? Yeah. So you take that plate off that side and switch it to the switch other. Look at that. The steel protector device here on the other side. And this actually takes longer, I think, than the, uh, swapping the actual bolt. Right. So, but again, very slick. Left-handed to right-handed in just a matter of about three minutes. I think the only thing you can't get to is the uh, the bolt release on the other side. Well, actually, you can reach right. underneath. I mean, you can reach under get it, but everything else looks like it's you know it's positioned in a way that it's naturally ambidextrous. Right. Yeah, nice. And that's uh, that's cool. the extent of the AOG. And um, appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hopefully, we get a hold of one of those and do some shooting, and uh, we'll show you how it works.